Hey people, hey Aaronators, and welcome back to my channel where we react to music but always do it honestly and today we're gonna be checking out God 7 Hard Carry. As you guys know, the first ever song I checked out that was by them was Just Right, if I remember correctly that's the name of it, and uh, it was a very lighthearted and sweet song. And by reading your comments I learned that that one is pretty much the only song of that kind and uh, the rest of their art is very very different. So hopefully today I'm gonna see that different side of them with the song Hard Carry as I said so let's jump into it but before we do that don't forget to check me out on Instagram and if you want to see my exclusive content check out my Patreon. Okay, right off the start, I can already say that I like this song. This is exactly what I wanted to hear from them. This is exactly that different side of them that I was so excited about. And uh, I, yeah, again, it's just the beginning of the song, but I think the whole thing is gonna be great. So, okay, since the song is called Hard Carry and we heard this exact phrase right here in the beginning, I think we started off the song with the chorus instead of uh, the intro and then the verse. So it means that the structure of the song is a little bit different, but still pretty common in pop music. So, okay, let's keep going now. Hey, welcome to my world, let's do this. It's your chat, you get up, I'm sorry. All together, boon, you go higher. You hang it back, no more, she could have walked wire. Man, boon, and everybody knows that. I'm not the bad, I'm not hungry. Okay, so I think it's time for me to start refreshing their names in my head. So I'm gonna pull up my phone right here. Let's see. We've got Jackson here. I know Jackson because uh, what was that? Jack Monster and Rapson. Yeah, that that thing. Uh, their their friendship is awesome, by the way. Um, and I think the other one is Mark. Is that Mark or or Kim Yu? Go, you go that's a difficult name let, let me let me find a different scene I'm I'm a little confused here guys I'm I'm looking at the pictures on my phone I think I think that's mark yeah so I'm gonna keep going with the video and hopefully I'm gonna figure this out later <laughs> Okay, I think I know this guy, it's JV, right? JV, and he's the lead vocalist. Okay, okay, slowly getting to know them. Even though I've seen the unhelpful guide, I still couldn't remember uh, all of their names right away. And in this scene, who do we got now? Park Jin Yong, is that him? Yeah, he's the lead vocalist as well. So yeah, that makes sense. I think that's him because he's singing too. And now talking about this awesome transition from the verse to the chorus, this drop, it was pretty predictable. I expected it to happen, but still it was so amazing. It felt like it, you know, it felt like uh, the song was leading up to this moment, up to this drop. And uh, in this particular case, the predictability aspect of it didn't disappoint me at all. And the reason for that is it's just, the, the melody is just very good. The music itself is good. So it doesn't have to rely on some kind of tricks to make you like the song. Although I really like getting surprised when I listen to new music, new songs. In this case, it was okay because the, the melody was just top notch. Man, oh, oh, I, I love this chorus. I It sounds so good and I love the sound effects on their voices. Uh, it's either, again, it's either sound effects or just m many people singing at the same time. I am pretty sure you guys hear what I hear in this part. Their vocals, they, they just sound so full and powerful. And also they sound bassy. So instead of using an actual bass uh, for the background music here, they, they make their voices sound more bassy. Oh, th this is Mark. This is Mark. Oh, 
Okay, so I was actually right the first time. Right there in the background, it's Mark and in the forefront, Kim Yu Gum. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing his name. It's an interesting concept that they've got for the music video. It's, uh, I think it's a plane that made a hard landing, a very hard landing, and here we can see a broken turbine. I haven't seen the lyrics for the song yet, so I'm not sure if it's related to the actual meaning, but we'll find out. I'm, I'm definitely gonna check out the lyrics at the end. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So this guy, JB, I'm not I'm gonna try not to call him Justin Bieber. Uh so he's he's from where? He's from South Korea. Okay, but he's one of the very few South Koreans that I've seen that wears this kind of hairstyle. It's way, way more Western. It's kind of similar to the kind of hair I have in, in my other videos, but it's not that, I'm not sure what it's called, like a bowl cut that other guys have. And I have to say that this kind of hair looks really, really good on him. I like the short sides, this undercut, and some volume on top. Actually, you know what? He looks a little mixed to me. So possibly one of his parents is from America or somewhere else. So that might explain a different head shape and why he he decided to go for this type of hairstyle. And okay, here in this shot we have Choi 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 Young Choi Young Jae. I'm pretty sure that's him, and I'm pretty sure I butchered that name too. But okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm gonna try to remember everyone for the next music video that I check out from them. Man, this is so good. Okay, once again, the music, the chorus is great, but let me talk a little bit about the music video. I definitely like what they're doing here with the uh, different colored lights, so like flickering lights, that was cool. But to me, the whole picture, like the, everything in general, looks a little, I'm not sure what word to use, like a little washed out. Maybe it's not as crisp and saturated as it could have been. It, there's not much contrast. I really like talking about the music videos and what I see, but I'm no expert by any means. So in this situation, it's kind of difficult for me to point out exactly what it is. Since pretty much every group they film in similar conditions, I think it has to do with the uh, uh, what is it called? Post post production and color grading, everything like that. So yeah, I I know I'm really nitpicking here, and uh, this is the only complaint that I could think of because everything else, especially musically, it's just so great. Oh. Okay, right, so in this shot we had Park Jin Young, right? I I really enjoyed his voice. He sounds pretty gentle but crisp at the same time, very contemporary type of sound quality. But right here with Young Jay, I, I enjoyed his part a little less, and I'm gonna explain why. Uh, at a certain point, he went for this lighter type of sound and that switch was pretty noticeable. Let's actually go over that part once again. I'm gonna show you what I mean and just listen to this change of the sound quality. Right? Did you hear that? Just listen closely. Mm -hmm. And once again. I know that this is the studio version of the song, so every note is perfectly on pitch. But because of that lighter quality, that kind of weird sounding lighter quality, he actually sounded a little off. And I'm definitely interested to know what you guys think about this part, if you actually ever noticed this quality to his voice and if you if you like it or not. Because I understand that some people might say that, oh, this is this is the best part of the song to me. And that's okay. Like we're we're not debating who's right and who's wrong here. Every Everyone likes different things, so that's fine. I'm not criticizing him or 
the work of the producers here in this case. I'm just sharing my opinions. Wait. Hard carry hair. I was really confused when the drop didn't come in. I was like, wait, what? what's happening? And now this shot, it's its just awesome. I would really like to see the filming of it and find out for how long they had to hold their breaths. I think it's interesting. And hey, I think the person who's saying hard carry hey here is Bam Bam. He's the lead, uh, lead rapper and he's the only one who I didn't mention because I don't remember him coming up on the screen in like in a, in a solo shot. So I think that's him. Light log turbulence. Okay, now it actually makes a little more sense why they had the the crashed plane right there. Okay, but but what is it? It's the name of their album or something like that. Let me know in the comments. But uh, now I'm gonna go back and check out the lyrics for the song because I want to understand the meaning a little better. But I'm only gonna be inserting little bits of me listening to it because I I can't play the whole song. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I've, I'm really not sure what the song is about. It kind of sounds like uh, a song for gamers, but again, not everything is about gamers in it, so. I, I don't know, let me know in the comments. But you know what, in this case, it really doesn't matter because the song itself, like the music is so good. I I love the drop. It's, it's, very, it's a very classic type of drop. It's kind of predictable, as I said before, but it's so good anyways. I love what they're doing with their vocals and the verses and the choruses. It's, it's, yeah, it's a great song. I'm definitely gonna be listening to it a lot. And uh, I really enjoyed making this video video and listening to the song and hey if you enjoyed watching this video then you know what to do now you leave a like you subscribe and you click the bell i will see you all ever naters in my next video as always take care keep listening to great music and love